what is going on youtube welcome back to today's video in today's video we are talking about 2023 and all the goals that i have established for myself that i want to put out there so that it's held accountable to me by you guys and if you guys comment your goals down below hopefully i can hold you accountable too plus i think it'd be really cool to look at this video at the end of 2023 and see where we've come what have we accomplished what have we done firstly before we get started just a quick disclaimer the reason why this video is all out of sync in terms of my facial hair compared to the rest of the videos is because it's actually January 20th and I'm posting this tomorrow. I never filmed a 2023 goals video, so I'm kind of throwing this up now. Let's get into the goals for this year. And what that is, is first goal, my most important goal personally, is to just uh, reconnect my relationship with my church. I've been traveling a lot. Obviously, I'm in Michigan one week a month. I travel on Sundays and so i am not at church a bunch and down here i really don't have a consistent church to go to either and then i'm doubling down on that unfortunately by not spending a bunch of time in my word with my devotionals you know i made poor excuses just being tired from work being overworked being stressed out things like that there are people with way worse things going on that make it happen so i just know it's a bad excuse on my part and that i need to do better so that is the first thing i plan to really hammer home this year all that leads into my second goal Pretty much I know I've alluded to it, never really directly addressed it, but I will be going back to Michigan full time in March or April-ish. It all depends on the timing with work. With that being said, when I am back home, I want to obviously reconnect with my church and then as well as reestablish my roots. Uh, I currently live with my parents when I'm uh, home in Michigan, so shout out to mom and dad. Thank you for letting me be there. I would like to get my own place, whether it's another apartment, condo, house or anything. I'm trying to do something with a rental, so that's the main goal. So that's that's something big, something I've never done, a little scary. It leads into my third goal, which is just re reconnecting with my family and friends. Obviously, I see them during major life events when I'm around or I obviously snuck back home to surprise them or anything like that. But just you know, making sure I'm super present, traveling so much, being away from them so much this past year. Uh, really opened my eyes how much I appreciate them and love them like even more than I already knew just really you know taking in soaking in that time with them uh, being present with them good quality time like I just really want that and I'm looking forward to get as much of that as I possibly can which leads into my fourth goal I want to just be document more uh, I know people try always say be more present and stuff like that and like not be on your phones but I want to capture those moments those memories that I'm super present for. So finding that balance of being able to capture those moments with those people I love the most and just finding a way to creatively express my gratitude for those situations. I think so many times when I look back on the last five years of my life with my house, I realized how little I truly documented. And like, yes, we have the stories and the amazing memories, but to like reference a picture or anything like that to help give the story extra context, like that's just what I like to do. I like telling stories, I like reliving moments that meant a lot to me. So I want to find a way to be able to both be present but still expressive and yeah, I'll figure it out. Which leads into another goal of wanting to be able to be uh, more supportive to my friends. A lot of my friends have awesome goals and ambitions. I'm a, I feel I'm pretty supportive but I want to just continue to like expand on that. How can I go harder? How can I be more supportive of the people who have been so supportive to, to me? Uh, our entire lives or friendship or whatever it is. So just making sure I'm going hard for the people who go hard for me type deal. Just allocating that energy, putting it out and just good vibes all around. The next goal I have for myself is I would like to hit a thousand subscribers here on YouTube. Um, it'd be a cool number to just kind of see. And you know, I've been going at this like close to 10 years now, maybe even longer than that, obviously in, in spurts and stuff like that. So to, you know, really put in the work and to see that growth has been awesome. So to just continue to grow on that and get to a thousand and then if we hit that this year then we just have to make a new goal from there so we're gonna work hard we're gonna do everything we can to get to it and i'm really looking forward to it and the last goal which is the clickbait title of this video is i did call out jesse james west on one of his instagram posts i'll pop up his post right here so as you can see on this post uh, jesse james west competed in a bodybuilding show and he is the self-made natty king and i have a lot of respect for jesse i think jesse's content is awesome you know, I've been following him since 2020 when he first started taking off, so nothing but respect for the guy. But I commented, and I'll flash my comment on screen as well too. You know, he's a, he looked good, you know, absolute stud, but I'm coming for the crown. 
respectfully. I do want to, you know, push myself, create some competition, some friendly competition. Obviously, I have no animosity towards Jesse, but I just think it's always fun to like kind of have a goal to work towards, whether it's competing against another person or a number you're chasing, whatever it may be. I think that is something fun to do as a good driving force. So, and he actually liked the comment. Jesse, I called out Jesse James West and he responded. That is the goal for this year. I plan to compete in a bodybuilding show, which is what I was wanted to do last year, but obviously life got crazy and we weren't able to do that. So this year we're bringing it over. So 2023, we're competing in a bodybuilding show. And then we're also gonna be competing in a powerlifting meet, which is something that Jesse did as well. We're gonna be kind of going head to head with Jesse. In these ventures he did, he did men's physique and classic physique. And then he did a powerlifting meet at 181. So. I think I can bring that same energy at 181. So hopefully we out total him. Hopefully I place higher than him, but that's gonna be the fun goal I have for myself, competing with Jesse, uh, seeing if I can place better than him. But obviously nothing but love and respect for the guy. He's a cool, he seems like a really cool dude and he's got great energies. It's just a fun goal. Some, someone to chase, some number to chase type deal. So that's the thinking there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. We're gonna have a great prep with Dom and we're gonna get super strong with Matt. It's gonna be awesome. So it's gonna be a good year. These are big goals. These are things I'm excited for. This is all I have off the top of my head. So if I forgot any, I probably did. So my bad, but we'll get it figured out. We'll, we'll amend them along the way. So stay tuned. And I look forward to documenting the rest of this year with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please drop the like, comment down below. Tell me your goals. What do you think of my goals? What can I do better? What should I, who else should I chase? Who else should I call out? <laughs> Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on your post notifications so you don't miss our Tuesday, our Thursday, or our Saturday vlogs, or the Monday podcast either. Tons of content always coming at you every week. And make sure you share the video with a friend so that they tell you their 2023 goals, or you tell them your 2023 goals, and we can all hold each other accountable. It'll be great. But most importantly, don't forget to have a great day or night. Don't forget to keep God number one. God bless.